hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to show you how to create how to configure standard value key in sap so mainly uh, we use standard value key in work center uh, sap work center under production so in this work center i have chose uh, standard value key sap one that's the standard one those are already configured so what we do is in standard key we configure the standard key using the parameters here under this standard key i have three parameters setup value machine and label so if i want any additional new parameter i can configure new standard value key in standard sap we have already configured uh, standard value keys but if we need any additional information uh, as an example we have a parameter like machine breakdown or something we can create a new standard value key right so this is the path you go to SPR row configuration and press IMG and under production you go to basic data and work center general data under that standard value and we have two things one is standard value queue and second one is the parameter so the the parameter that i viewed in that work center is sap1 so the description is a normal production if i double click on that one it will show that there are three parameters sap underscore zero one 0 to a 0 3 so setup machine and label okay so there there's option that we can add another parameter as well our maximum six parameters so in parameters the there are a lot of parameters that already is defined see here the setup time the machine time and labor time is there okay if I want to create a new one, I, I'm going to copy the existing one and create a new one. I give a new name here. Is it the BR K zero one? So two means it will take the value from the routing. So my parameter is breakdown keyword. So breakdown. I'll give my dimension as a uh, time and my value is hours it can be minute as well so i configured a new parameter i'm going to save it you need to save this to a new tr okay i named my tr as pp underscore create standard value key and I'm going to save that TR. Okay. Always uh, give a meaningful name to a TR. Now I go to define a standard value key. I'm going to configure new one. Let's say. Is is a SAP? Give a new description as well. So put the three parameters. Don't change it. I'm going to add an additional parameter that I have created earlier. That one is the breakdown. Okay, I press enter. Now it's done. I save it to this TR. Okay. Now I go to the my work center and I'm going to change the standard value queue to new one. If I press enter, it will add up the new detail. It will take some time. see the fourth parameter is breakdown it's a new one so we define the rule 
should be entered. Here also we can give the parameters uh, as hours. So if I go to costing that it's there breakdown. So you can create a new activity type and formula. So I will uh, explain how to create the work center formula in my next video. That's also under configuration. Okay. So uh, that's it. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel.